my name is Frida Safik. I am a Drag Idol finalist from Drag Idol 2020, 2021 and probably 2022 by the time it, uh, who knows, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But um, yes, I am a Drag Idol finalist currently and I also have a podcast called Dragopedia out with Claudia Gabal. Uh, but most importantly, I am a drag, I, drag, fucking hell, drag queen here in Newcastle um, and I produce online shows with my girlfriend Ivy which we have just finished filming everything for that show um, so by the time this all comes out you would have already seen it uh, I hope you all watched it I hope you all enjoyed it um, and yeah it's gonna be a really really fun show so we're very very excited finally <laughs> good work crunk now to get rid of the body What? A llama? He's supposed to be dead! I have decided to take you all on my little journey this weekend through everything that I'm going to be doing. I'm very, very busy this weekend, um, especially today and tomorrow. I have a photo shoot today and a photo shoot tomorrow, and then also recording a performance tomorrow. So, yeah, this is all very, very exciting. Um, tomorrow, we are actually going to be at Bobby's. Uh, this is a queer space, a new LGBTQIA plus bar uh, here in Newcastle. It's right at the end at Scotswood Road or at the beginning, depending on where you're coming from. Um, and it's a new queer space for all of you lovely folk out there who love to come to the scene. So me and Ivy will be there every single... Oh, actually, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave that as a little surprise. Um, we will be announcing when we'll be there. But we have got amazing things planned. We've got cabaret, we've got DJ nights, we've got just a whole camp fun, something for everyone. So you're all going to be entertained and it's going to be absolutely exciting. So yeah, I can't wait for that. But before Bobby's reopens, um, I have been doing so much during lockdown. Um, getting ready for Drag Idol and then having it postponed again because of the coronavirus. But um, I've been doing so much during lockdown. Like I said, I've been producing most shows, which is very, very exciting. I've been producing uh, online panto, um, a night at the theatre cabaret show, a Valentine's bash, and then just the most recent one, which is a Cluedo show called Drop Dead Gorgeous. These are all available on YouTube. So if you want to go have a little gander, go over to House of Roach YouTube. I suppose you haven't seen Lucerella, have you? She went to be doing me washing. Well, I guess I'll talk to you instead. Hello, lovely audience. Welcome, welcome to my palace. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? My mother's first husband bought this for us. Lovely, isn't it? She's been very lucky and lovely and old, though, my mother. She's had 16 husbands. 16. Four better, four worse, four richer, four poorer. <laughs> they all seem to die of mysterious circumstances, especially the last one. But we don't talk about that one. Her first husband died in a pot of coffee. Yeah, a pot of coffee. Well, at least it was instant. You know what I mean? <laughs> but let's not talk about my mother. She's not the real star of the show. I guess we need to talk about Lucerella since that's why I'm here today. She thinks that she looks like a million dollars. Yeah, and she does. Wrinkly and green. <laughs> but did you hear the rumour about Princess Charming? Just between me and you, it seems though she's having a ball. Mm. Mm. I remember when me and Princess Charming first met. I don't want to say it was love at first sight, but... It was love at first sight. Miss Lucifer doesn't have a chance. And it happened to go a little something like this. I can hear the bells. Well, don't you hear them chime? Can't you feel my heartbeat keeping perfect? 
My drag is pretty much a celebration of queer women and just women in general. It's highlighting women's voices and celebrating femininity that a lot of us are denied to celebrate because femininity is sort of 
it's just something that we're not it's very like I don't want to say controversial but it's something that we're not allowed to express as often as we would like to um it's something just very like very much looked down upon and I think my drag likes to celebrate that and encourage everyone else to celebrate that as well so my drag is very political comedy it um talks about a lot of serious subjects but in a very serious way my kind of goal is for people to watch it start laughing and then right at the end go oh wait that was really serious actually wait that was like that was something really heavy um and that's kind of what i really want people to get away from it and whether i change your mind or not i've made you think and that's the best thing that i want people to, that's the best thing i want to do so yeah my drag style is quite I would say vintage and retro. I love a good bit of kind of 60s, 70s mashup. So I love a lot of go go boots and mini skirts, big garish patterns. I love something that's so ugly that it's gorgeous. I love looking at things and going, that is horrendous, and I'm 100% going to buy one in every single colour. Um, that is kind of my drag in a sense. And there is a real real meaning behind it. I don't just dress up in 70s, 60s for the crack. Um, the 1960s, 70s was sort of when big feminist people like Gloria Sinem sort of rose up through the ashes and was kind of like, I've had enough. Um, and that was kind of the moment that the world started to change on women in general their view on women in general that was kind of the catalyst in a sense of everything that you see um so that is again what i want to achieve so make me look so good look at me and go oh, and, and you're actually really good um because a lot of time people don't really see women in drag as something that's entertaining whereas you've got m people like me ivy venus um uh, baron levy uh people who were um assigned female at birth not very much um, identifies as women but people that are assigned female at birth always get told that they're not really entertaining or funny and we're just here to change that and I hope that we can change your minds um, so yeah Woo -hoo. so I uh, some fun facts about me my favorite color is yellow I've got a hamster a cold ketchup and I, I'm an artist. I do art. So enough about me. Today we are going to go on a photo shoot with one of our drag sisters from the House of Roach, Re Bell, who is a drag queen who moved from Scotland to London to here. So she's been all over the place. She's literally conquered every single aspect of the UK. Um, she might. She just needs to go to Ireland and Wales now, and she's done. So we are going on a photo shoot with Re Bell today we are going to be taking some nice little easter photos, photos to post throughout this weekend hopefully we'll be ready by the time this video comes out um so you can all go on and see Ray's instagram my instagram and ivy's instagram for all of our photos that we have taken today and i'll be taking you on a special little behind the scenes of that as well we are we'll be prancing about in saltwell park um in lovely little colours and easter eggs and little chickens on our head so it's going to be absolutely camp and I can't wait for you all to see it, it's going to be fun all done yay yay hello everyone we are here at Saltwell Park with Ivy Ray and Lady Cleo doing an easter photo shoot Ivy. hiya hiya do you want to come say hi? Come say hi, come say hi. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. This is Rebel. If you haven't, um, I don't think anyone's really met her before. I'm but... gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I saved it. Yeah. <laughs> Rebel moved here from London, which is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Ray is a fantastic Twitch streamer from Scotland. Team, team Queen. Hi. Um, she is a, oh God, stream queen. Cr stream queen gamer on twitch and she's incredible all her socials uh will be on the screen right now uh
please go follow her she's brilliant uh very very funny and we'll be chatting with her a bit more later but for now i'm going to try and get down these stairs because in heels it's not a very easy job at all ivy look how gorgeous we look we are in the Saltwell Park Dean. Saltwell Dean. Saltwell Dean. Yeah. Saltwell Dean. Getting some lovely photos. Parks I came here well. for huh? The parks of the Saltwell. Parks of the Saltwell. <laughs> I came here for my Frida photo shoot. You came here for Harry Potter. I did. We came here for Christmas. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went somewhere else for Christmas. <laughs> We've exhausted every single bit of this park for a photo shoot, but it is so gorgeous, and. Um, despite how we are dressed, and despite how the sky looks right now, it is freezing cold. Um, it's so very yeah. cold. Very cold. And we're in heels. Oh god, yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. Very, very, very uh, hilly and not very pretty. But this oh, hair is it. by Mixy Mitosis. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. And my face is by...
recovery that will be up on the Friday on Bobby's Facebook and there's going to be lots and lots of prizes get for people to win including like a VIP package for someone and their friends so they can go and drink all their favourite drinks get absolute VIP treatment it'll be absolutely camp so I hope we see you all there in July it's going to be amazing um, and also there'll be loads of outside seating as well before then of people taking shots and things like that so it's very very exciting and the show looks incredible everyone's performance is amazing we've also done a lovely camp hold group number which was absolutely hilarious um so hopefully you all see it or you all have watched it if this goes up uh before then um and i hope you all enjoy it i hope you've all enjoyed this video i have included a lot of my like performances from today in here just a little bit of a sneak peek a little first sneak peek of what you can expect from the show very excited. Bye. 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 Good job, Yes, it is. Yeah. Get onto your little swing. There you are, I've got it. There you are, I've got it.